on Cape Cod, the storm hit on one of the final weekends of the summer. All this rain has been really tough on businesses, and it impacted a lot of families who are on vacation. WBZ's Bill Shields has more from Falmouth. Yeah, what a difference a few miles or 75 miles will make. I mean, considering what happened in Rhode Island, Connecticut, and parts of Western Mass, here on the Cape, it wasn't a piece of cake, but nonetheless, it wasn't too bad either. In Falmouth, the wind and waves started early, 35 mile an hour gusts, but nothing terrible. This is good because we still have a whole week down here, so I don't, I want to enjoy. Some businesses closed for the day, and a few boat owners had their boats on land for the duration. We ended up being in very good shape. The, uh, you know, the marina was secured. The ramps were secured, all the things we normally do. I was expecting a little more today, but, you know, we put some furniture in and everything else. But, yeah, I mean, this is, this is great. A little windy. Not too bad. The wind and rain started early, but in Sandwich, it served only to draw people to the beach for the show. Only the show failed to inspire. I've seen worse. In fact, crowds started lining the Sandwich Beach. Some brought beach chairs, as if it were any Sunday in the summer. Only the attraction today were the waves and the seals. We have seen a lot worse. Hurricane Bob was bad. So the storm disappointed some here on the Cape, but I think it's safe to say that most people were glad that it sort of went to the west. In Falmouth, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.